This is a government that delivers on its promises. Health Secretary Sajid Javid telling viewers, completely unchallenged, that this is a government that keeps its promises. Well, let's take a look at that. 20 months after the election, the guarantee not to raise income taxes like national insurance has been scrapped. Yes, I accept that this breaks a manifesto commitment. In fact, Johnson's government has just hiked taxes to their highest level in 70 years whilst implementing the biggest overnight cut to the basic rate of social security since World War II. And this comes on top of energy bills, food prices, fuel prices, inflation all soaring. This is a government that delivers on its promises. Today, I am going to deliver on my commitment to that vision with a pledge to fund the Leeds to Manchester route. Now it's been scrapped. Johnson promised voters a first class service and then handed them the equivalent of a second class ticket on a rail replacement bus. This is a government that delivers on its promises. The Conservatives made a solemn promise to maintain the triple lock formula for the annual rate of pension increases. The triple lock is the uh, government's policy. Now they've just scrapped it for next April. This is a government that delivers on its promises. The Conservatives made a pledge at the last general election that nobody needing care should be forced to sell their home to pay for it. Now Johnson says no one will be forced to sell a home they or their spouse is living in. Well, hang on, isn't that the position now? His social care plan for England does not guarantee someone's home will not have to be sold to pay for their care. Only that this does not have to happen in their lifetime. Another promise broken. This is a government that delivers on its promises. 48 new hospitals. That signature manifesto pledge to build 40 new hospitals by 2030 has been branded unachievable by government watchdog, the Infrastructure and Projects Authority. If that's not bad enough, Johnson's government has now ordered NHS Trust to describe building work on existing sites as new hospitals. It's like building a shed in your back garden and calling it a new house. For the health secretary to say, this is a government that delivers on its promises, is quite simply ludicrous.